good. Uh, why don't you share with us your story? Tell us uh, what God has done in your life. Let me grab a, a microphone here. Do you want me to hold this for you? Okay. Well, as you all have heard, I'm, my name is Kelly Wood, and this is my story. I'll try not talk too fast. I'm going to take you back to January 2010, a new year, the same as previous years, um, comfortable lifestyle, wonderful band, Mike, who you've all just met. We work together, play together, we're nicely, nicely together. together. I have a lovely daughter, Stephanie, who was excited about graduating from high school and moving on to a college adventure. My two stepchildren, Brandon, who's growing fast from boy to young man, and Caitlin, a bubbly, excited eight-year-old. I have loving and caring parents, three siblings and their families, I have the average life, the average routine. I am quite content. Sadness strikes my world with my father falling ill, a cancer diagnosis, about four to six weeks remaining if we are lucky. Very painful news. On Saturday, January the 23rd, we were driving home from another visit from my parents, trying to figure out what to do next. It's late afternoon and Mike is driving along Burnham Street when I blurt out, can we go to church tomorrow? I had this sudden yet exhilarating need God was pulling me towards him. I had been to church as a little girl but never really understood it. But it, on this day, at this moment, I so badly needed the Lord. And there my journey began in finding the love of Jesus Christ. In the weeks that followed, I was enveloped with comfort and strength immediately. As men Mike mentioned, Easter service 2010, I also openly cried during the service asking the Lord to forgive me for my past sins, and I accepted Jesus Christ into my heart. Now, 2010 was a difficult and a challenging year, and I won't bore you with all the details, but all through it, I continually felt the Lord's presence and encouragement. I learned to pray daily, and each time I was feeling sad, the Lord would pick me up and set me straight. I also was reading my Bible and growing in my knowledge of the Lord's words. On Sunday, May the 30th, 2010, I received a call from the hospital while here at church. Dad was failing and there wasn't much time. Surrounded with fellow Christians, Michael Baer prayed that God would help me and my family get through this difficult time. At that moment, I understood another stage of how wonderful it was to have a new family with God as my father. Less than two hours later, my dad took his last breath. Later that day, I realized I had been given four glorious months with my dad to understand him, laugh with him, and grow within my spiritual self. Throughout my spiritual walk, I have grown in my understanding of myself and others. I have met wonderful friends like Mark and Kathleen, and the Lord encouraged Mike and I to get married last year so that we would grow in our spiritual life together. I have been blessed by Jesus Christ. Awesome, thank you. Uh, Kathleen is gonna come up and, and give Kelly a few words of encouragement. Kelly, it is with great joy that we are sharing in your baptism today as you take the step of obedience in your faith journey. What began as a casual acquaintance at best two years ago has grown into a wonderful friendship, made all the more special because of the bond of our faith and times of Bible study together. Having you live close by is just an extra bonus. Kelly, when you came to our personal faith in Christ that day, your life has consistently demonstrated that you fully embraced your faith. You committed to reading your Bible daily, having read it through completely in that first year. Your faith has permeated your entire life. You've taken your faith into your family, both you and Mike encouraging and teaching your children to become involved in the activities of the church and giving them the opportunity to be exposed to faith. You are leading your children by example and it is a powerful tool that God will bless. You have also taken your newfound faith from the very beginning into your workplace. 
I believe that God has uniquely placed you into a situation where your mission field comes to you. Hmm. Your friendly personality has given you opportunities to encourage others and point them to the possibilities of faith in their own lives, sharing openly and with great sincerity. You have also found a place of ministry here at Coburg Alliance Church, very quickly making yourself open and available to serve in children's ministry. Once you began, you've been making a tremendous contribution into the spiritual lives of our children, connecting with them individually and doing your acts of service with cheerfulness, always willing to pitch in. I see in you, Kelly, someone that has bought into the Christian faith wholeheartedly, seeking God and finding him giving you answers and direction. Your Christian life has embodied the love God, serve others, show the way philosophy of this church. Your zeal and commitment has been a joy to observe. To see this new Christian life through fresh eyes has been an encouragement to me these past two years. You and Mike have become special people to us. We are grateful for your generosity shown to us and your friendship. As I thought about a verse to use as an encouragement to you, I was continually drawn to how the scriptures have become so prominent in your life from the very beginning. I encourage you to continue holding that dear to you. The scriptures affirm the benefits of doing so. Deuteronomy 30 verse 14 says, But the word is very near you, in your mouth and in your heart, that you may observe it. Psalm 119 verse 105, Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. This practice of daily reading and seeking God through his word will keep you through the ups and downs of life. If your focus is on Christ and his word is near you, you will know God's working in your life. God bless you for being faithful, for being committed, and for making this public statement of your faith today. God bless. Thank you. You ready to be baptized? Kelly, do you profess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Upon confession of your faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.